Hello everybody and welcome back to Sandy Bay. I do usually start the video standing somewhere out here staring at the cliffs but today we're just way too busy to be doing that so let's just really quickly get the pressure washers started. We'll give the tractor a quick rinse because it's looking a bit scruffy. Oh no my back window's open. <laughs> Don't want to be firing the pressure washer into there. But that's better anyway. Uh, yes yeah, so what we're going to do very very quickly is pick up on those alfalfa bells from yesterday one of the ones which I couldn't stack because it's just out of the uh, the range of the front loader it's way too tall uh, so we'll get that picked up the reason why I'm picking it up is because we're going to go and give it to the sheep now usually in the summertime the sheep are grazing the land it's all good but although they do have some feed left they're running low they're running dangerously low I would imagine because the grass growth rate has slowed down because it is now autumn. And we probably, well, we probably have acquired some more sheep, I'm not too sure. But as you can see, yeah, that's just that's just too low. We, we can't risk that, because if they do run out of food, they will die. Seems like a, a pretty obvious thing to say, but uh, yeah, in seasons... Uh, that's what happens. Without seasons, they don't die. But I'm sure you already knew that. Okay, it, oh, it probably goes to the back, doesn't it? Yes, there's me thinking that we have to put it to the front. That's fine, I'll just pick it up and flip it over. Don't know if they'll take it all. No. But it can stay there because it can just keep topping it up. It must have been nearly all of it. No, it wasn't even half. Right, in that case, we'll go and put it back in the shed. Anyway, that's enough of working over here. I know it was only a minute, but what we really need to do is start some field work. We're not really rushed at the moment to get things done. Um, because, it, yeah, as I've already said, it is only the third day of autumn. We have nine days in the autumn. Um, but, yes, we do need to start thinking about cultivation and re-drilling for next year. I did spread some manure in for number 40 one and we also have fin number 44 which was the alfalfa field and I'm fairly sure alfalfa doesn't regrow when you when you take a look at the map it does show harvested and well I'm not too sure what um, sugarcane shows because with sugarcane it does regrow uh, actually it's a interesting point what would it say it probably does say harvested and then it goes on to growing actually no maybe it goes straight to growing but as you can see, it's definitely harvested. Purple for harvested. So yeah, we're going to get that ploughed up so that we can put the next crop in. And either way, it, it's going to improve it anyway. Even if, you, even if you're not supposed to plough it up, um, it's going to uh, increase the yield for the next crop. I don't think we're going to be using this tractor or this plow. We will most likely, if the price is right, be replacing the plow because, well, plowing is one of those jobs which I do enjoy, but I don't like just doing an absolutely gigantic field for hours. But actually, just thinking about it, we only have £20,000 and plows are not cheap, but they would be if you could buy a used one. Uh, I was going to do subsoiling like this and that would work fine, that would act as a plow, but it's kind of not the same thing. Well, it's not the same thing. Um, but in the game, it is the same thing. And I don't really want to do that. I want to do this properly. Subsoiling has its own purpose. So, really, yeah, it's a case of using this one or renting. Renting a bigger one. £3,000. Nah, I think we'll stick with it. I think I'll probably put the JCB on. We'll use this plough with the JCB. take you around the front and we will indeed head over to the alfalfa field what was the alfalfa field okay so there we go um, as for this tractor well we'll put it in a shed over here we have so much space over this farm and I don't really use most of it so many different places Okay, so there we go, that's the T6 dealt with for today, 
now for the JCB. I have no doubt about this tractor being able to uh, run this. It, it's going to be absolutely fine. It'd be more than capable of doing. I think the C6 would have been fine as well, actually. Okay, let's head off, and that's in transport mode. It's feeling light. I suppose the T6... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't notice you there. Uh, I suppose, yeah, the T6's um, front loader was acting as a counterweight. We could do with a front weight. I don't think we have one. Well, the store isn't really far out of the way if we were going through the village. So I'll go and pick up a weight. That would be the best thing to do. Otherwise, we're going to be wheeling down the road we could do a wheelie whilst going through the speed camera. That'd be a tough one to uh, explain. Probably be a double fine. Okay, that's just a little bit too ridiculous. Not having a weight. Uh, can we customise one to yellow? I don't know what it would look like. Probably one of these. Is a ton enough? 1600 JCB, that's good okay, so because we're not buying a new plan we can't afford to buy a weight I do need to be careful with the money I don't think that's the same shade actually yes, I think the JCB colour has changed between well, the in-game JCB colour has changed between 17 and 19. This tractor's from 17. And that weight... Well, it, it was in 17, but... I guess they've upgraded the colours. Right, so, good. We're now counterbalanced. And not, we're not going to do anything illegal. It's also much easier to drive. And now we can go and plough the field. I'm going to try and plough it properly. We'll do the headlands last. Well, the top and bottom of the field anyway. Another hour far fulfilled. Okay, here we are. So we'll get that unfolded. Back into field mode. And actually, yeah, that's that is the correct way to go for the first pass. Of course, we had the issue with not being able to cut the alfalfa at the side because I was sort of rushing the uh, the cutting of it. We we're desperate to have it. Okay, it seems good. Right. So that's what I'm looking for. Seven miles per hour is our maximum speed. There is something very satisfying about ploughing up a grass field or an alfalfa field. I guess it's because it, there's more of a distinctive difference between the green and the brown, the soil and the grass. Maybe I should be a little bit further over. But the majority of this will be done in third person view because I'll do a time lapse. For those pieces I just missed, I will come back to them at the end. But yeah, what I mean by not doing the headland first is this piece here will leave a, a good enough gap to turn around. And now we can continue. I think it's fine. I think the working with this is fine. So we'll crack on. The, the mighty JCB is doing a good job. Nice and powerful. It's fine. Really good. Okay, right, well, I'll see you in approximately one minute.
Right, okay, so it is going well. It's slow, but only what I expected. What I've also noticed is this tractor isn't really the best tractor for this size of plow. Uh, it doesn't really sit in the furrow. If I was to go in the furrow, it, it's not really aligning with the plow. So, uh, yeah, it should have something a little bit bigger on. But we're getting there. We are getting there. I have missed a few bits, but that is absolutely fine because it's just the slightest bits here and there. And this field is also going to be cultivated again, so uh, yeah, the, the cultivator will get them. What I am going to do in a minute is go and get some slurry. And we're going to put that on here. And then, like I said, we're going to cultivate it so that will mix it all in. Then we can get the drill and we can get the field planted for next year. It, we won't be planting it today. We have to wait for the, uh, the slurry to, to go in and then... We'll cultivate it and drill it in the same episode. There you go. Look, <laughs> I can't really, uh, can't really do it from first person view because it's just not aligning. Okay, right. Well, we'll continue, and um, yeah, we should be done soon. Okay, there we go, it is all finished. So that is ready to have fertiliser applied. Just wondering if that is in the right position. Uh, no, I think that needs to be flipped over so that we can fold this in a bit. Just see, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll go and put this back into the yard. And we're going to have to go and get a slurry spreader. Now, I don't know, I can't remember if we have a slurry spreader. We have used one. Did I lease it before? Obviously, I'll have a look first. But, yeah, we have plenty of slurry. We've got loads over at the, uh, the main cow farm. So that is essentially free fertilizer. We definitely have a muck spreader, but the problem is we don't really have much manure. Still not move that car. The fast track is living up to its name of uh, fast tractor. And for anybody who didn't see the episode where I looked in these trees here, there's actually a, a tank in there. Somebody did say the correct name for it. Um, I'll have to brush up on my uh, tank names. Just going back to the uh, latest news from Oxygen David about this map. Uh, a few new, nice, very, very nice new features uh, coming up very soon. One of which is the hedge cutting, the cuttable hedges, which I can remember way back in the times of FS09, probably 08 as well, the people were saying, is it possible to cut hedges? Because it is such a big thing in the UK, cutting the hedges uh, between September and end of February. But um, yeah, you've just never been able to do it. So the way the way that Oxygen David has managed to do this is just unbelievable. Uh, it's going to, certainly for the UK players, probably for all the other players as well, it's going to be a huge transformation. It's going to really add things to the game. Definitely for those players who are wanting to play really realistically, it's going to be amazing. So good. But uh, yeah, I was just going to say, how big is hedge cutting in other countries? I know that in the UK it's just massive, huge. Uh, pretty much every farm, if not all farms, have to do some hedge cutting or get a contractor in to do some hedge cutting. Uh, but the USA, for example, I know that there's loads of different states, but just in general, is there a lot of hedge cutting to do? Are there a lot of hedges? I'd love to hear from you. Europe, uh, what's it like over there? 
I would imagine there is quite a bit of hedge cutting to do in Europe. Right, should I continue using the fast track? I think I probably should do. Anyway, yeah, we do have the story spread, of course. Going back to episode number one. Oh, and it's already full. Well, 98%, but that should be enough. It's not a very big field. Anyway, yeah, if we can, if we can uh, make a bit of a talking point in the comment section about the hedge cutting, it is coming soon. If you do want to find out more about it, then basically just go and uh, go and follow um, Oxygen David's Facebook page. Go and like it, and stay tuned. That's the best thing to do. I suppose I probably should have removed the front weight because now it's just going to add compaction. I really don't see those mopeds coming. Uh, they suddenly appear. Oh, I did see the car. I just <laughs> didn't really care about it being there. Um, it's the traffic. They, they're, they're, they're terrible. They're terrible. It's funny, in real life I'm I try to be a very courteous driver. In FS, who cares? It's just, just the AI. They're pretty bad drivers anyway. They smash into me all the time. So many people have said before, and I've said before, it would be so good if the AI was improved. Uh, the traffic, I think the traffic is pretty much exactly the same since 09. And with the difference of not being able to flip the cars over. That was good fun. They are now completely solid objects where you can't move them around. But in 09 you could pick them up with a front loader, take them somewhere else on the map, and somehow they would actually return to the road. It was good fun, but I'm guessing there was a reason behind stopping that. Probably because everybody was picking up the cars. Well, here we are. Um, let's just check this spray rate. Did somebody recommend, was it, what does it go down to? I think it was 250 somebody recommended? I'll try it. See how we go. It's actually much more visible as well. It looks really good. But it always leaves a, a bit of a border. I am covering the edge here, but that, that is a field boundary. So it never goes to the edges. I think we'll increase that spray rate. By a bit. 500. But what we have there is a higher yield, profit. The next crop is going to love it. Okay, well to give myself a bit of turning space I will do the headland last like I did with the ploughing. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised how obvious it is actually. It does make things much, much easier. Now the, the spray rate is still too low. We need to consume something. 700? 750, there we go. 750. Like I said, I did enjoy the ploughing. It just... It can go on a bit. And it is difficult when you're doing it for a video uh, to keep it interesting. That's why I do time lapses, but even sometimes if a job is too long, because that was like 25 minutes I think it took, 30 minutes, um, it can even make a time lapse too long. And as I already said, the tractor could do with a slightly bigger plough. Right, switch that off there. And it looks like we're going to be going down and then on the way up again we'll be uh, completing the main section of field. Look at that, that is really reflecting in the sun. I can smell it from here. Well, not surprising, I'm in the tractor that's doing it. Now if only uh, YouTube, actually no, what am I saying? If YouTube had the smell function, I don't think you'd want it though. It would be interesting, can you imagine if it did have a smell function? 
I'm sure there's not many viewers who want to smell slurry. Right, well, I will once again crack on. There really is not much left, but yeah, it'll give me the opportunity to do a bit more of a thorough job if I know it's being time lapsed. There we go, completed. So, it is uh, a very good texture actually. I, I think that might be new for, from Oxygen David. Can't say for sure. It looks very good though. Can somebody let me know if, if anybody knows if that texture is standard or not? Um, but yeah, that's certainly made the tractor very dirty. I think we'll go back, we'll give it a rinse, we'll. Uh, drop the spreader off. It didn't use that much. Um, I don't. I really don't know what the best application rate is. I'm a 750. You can go down to about 200, 150. So seemed like an okay setting. Anyway, I think that is that field completed for today. It really needs to uh, work in a bit, but we will be returning with a cultivator and a drill. I don't know how it's managed to get so dirty in here. Just look at that. What a mess. Well, I'm not going to wash the spreader today. In fact, the spreader isn't too bad. The tractor really has been the target. We'll pop it back in the shed where it came from. And then the pressure washer awaits. Gonna make a bit of a mess of the yard though. But it needs to be done. The uh, front weight didn't get dirty. That is so much better. Okay then. So a few dirty footprints, but you wouldn't expect it to be immaculate. Uh, so yeah, that is I think everything done for today. I'm just wondering if the cows need water, because they could do. The calves, they're good, they're all fine. Uh, yeah, it's running a bit low. So I will just go and turn the valve. Whoa, that's getting big. Okay, that's going to have to be done in the next episode. We'll get that put into the muck spreader. We'll probably put it on the field just over there, the big field, and that field also needs to be worked on, so we've got plenty of work to do. But anyway, that is it for today, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I know that the length of these videos might not be as long as they were before, not too sure, I can't really tell, uh, but that is because of the time lapses. Uh, whenever I do a lot of time lapses, it is difficult to keep it 35 minutes. But we'll see, anyway. Thanks again. See you again soon. Bye for now.